Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Spacegate Odyssey, which is a game all about colonising planets, specifically these planets, uh, through clever manipulation and puzzling of space stations. I'm playing a two-player game against a little glass Marty, and what do I need to say? I recommend you turn on Klingon subtitles, if I've made any mistakes they'll be noted up there, let me know if you find any that aren't. There is a static camera, high static cameras, if you don't like the handheld look or vice versa, it's all linked in the description, and I'm only able to keep making playthroughs thanks to the support of my patrons if you would like to help out with the channel and get a say in some of the videos that get made and some other benefits and stuff find out on the patreon page linked in the description and maybe on the screen or something anyway let's get going so in this game we both start off in a similar situation we were both allowed to get two modules from the lovely 3d stacks up here they had to come from different sections though, different uh, piles, so we've each mixed things up a little bit, although we've both gone for dominance in a single colour. Uh, we start off with the exact same workers here in the worker placement spot, and yeah, that's basically it. We randomly sort out the planets, the first three that we draw get space gates on them, and certain symbols on these modules will correspond to the symbols on these planets. There are two more later on. Once they're all filled up, we will start uh, just getting points on Hawking, basically the main planet that is also our scoreboard and stuff. So in this game, what you need to do on your turn is grab one of your workers from here and choose one of the five actions. And it can be any of them at all, but you will get a bonus depending on the number of workers that are there. So we each start off with three workers in each of the rooms here. And we have a special engineer in a suit in the new rooms room, which is how we get more uh, modules and stuff. They are worth action points. So normal workers, one action point each. There are robots too, we will hopefully get later. They're a point as well. And in the special suits, they give you two action points. So you need to choose an action. It has to, the, the worker has to move somewhere else. That's, that's your only condition. But you would take a worker. So if I, I'm not planning on getting new rooms right now. I can grab my worker and I think I am going to do water first. So I grab the worker that I chose and I put them on this little pedestal. And that kind of you know, reminds everybody which action we are resolving now because I now get to take my water action and I have three action points to do it. It's two from the suit and one from my normal worker, but everyone else that's got workers in that room get the number of action points that they already have left in that room. So you know, a big part of the game is the kind of uh, I choose you follow thing where you know you are maybe leaving workers in different actions to hope that somebody else activates them for you and you get some uh, free turns or at least some uh, free actions. So what do we do with a water action? Well, all three of these actions work in a very similar way. It just corresponds to a different color. For each action point, you can move one of your settlers and you start the game with five in your central hub here. You can move a settler one space in a blue module. These are modules here. All of the little rooms are modules. And so you can move them towards these. And what have I started with? This is just a room. It does nothing special. It's just a corridor. It's, it's basically going to delay my settlers getting anywhere else first. But why have I taken it? Because once you send a settler in there, you get a bonus. So I think we've got three action points. With my first one, I am going to send a settler in here. Now the room is set to off now. The settler turns the room on but unfortunately vacates the space station and goes back to the supply. I do though get the benefit of this module. So I get to put a robot out onto the action board, but I have to put it in the yellow action space. That's what this symbol means. So I'll grab one of my robots and it goes in here. This is the airlock room. This is how we will get new settlers into our space stations. Now robots can never be moved. So I didn't have a choice because it's what the module said. I did have the choice in taking the module in the first place. But now I'm going to be more effective at getting new settlers in when it comes to doing that. I've got two more action points then. And so I think we might as well turn on this room. Now this is a gate room that I have started with. So the first settler turns it on. And then I've got one more action point. And so we send one more settler into there. And I could be moving them into this corridor to move them somewhere else later on. 
but this is what I'm going to do. This is the way you get your settlers out onto the planets. We'll see more of this when it actually happens, but when, you know, the, the last thing that happens in a round is we check to see if everybody's, anybody has a full space gate room. And if they do, they send all of the settlers in there to the corresponding gate planet. So they would warp through this space gate with this symbol here, and they would end up on Collins. And each planet has got its own special rules. It's all about you know area majority, but they are all scored in different ways. And it's quite clever how it comes up with all of these different ways to, uh, to do, do area majority. So I've done my three action points now. Marty gets one action point, but unfortunately... He chose to start with purple modules, and so he cannot spend any blue action points because he can't move anyone through blue rooms. So he just has to basically skip that. Oh, and the very last thing, you take your leading worker off the little pedestal now because the action is finished, but now my worker is in there. So if anyone was to choose the water action again, I would still get three action points worth of turn. So what's Marty going to do now? He could just go with pink. He's got the pink rooms, the energy rooms, and he could go for that. But I think he is going to get some new modules. Now, I've moved myself out of here, so I'm getting no benefit from this at all. Marty has three action points, so he could get three new modules, basically. With each action point, you can take a new module from the top of one of these piles, and they are separated into their colors and their types. So these are all gates with the three different gate symbols on them. These are all just corridors, but have the one-time benefits for when you turn them on for the first time. And these are all airlocks, which can get new settlers into them. So Marty is thinking of getting some blue modules because he can see that I'm going for blue and I'll probably keep activating blue. So if he can piggyback off that a little bit, it would work out quite well for him. I think... He's got three action points. The other thing you can do with an action point is send a tile to the bottom of its stack. So I think that Marty is going to take this one. So the benefit of this is get a new worker on the action selection board. So I think he's going to put this down here. Well, that is two away, isn't it? And you've got to think that Marty's probably... If, if I'm doing it again, Marty's only going to get one action point. So maybe he wants it off the middle here. Now he just means that it's going to take longer to get to places later on when the space station gets really big. Uh, so he's got one action point left. One was sending something to the bottom. One was taking the top off here. And now this one would give him a robot in purple, which would help him with his purple dominance. So I think he's going to take that as well. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to grab this and have it go over there. Could have it out of the top again, but no. Could have it like this. No, he's just going to do this. Maybe he'll link this up to whatever goes here in the future. Okay then, so he's spent his three action points. I get nothing, so he comes off here, and it's my turn again. So I could go for blue again. I'm in a, I'm in a bit of a pickle, really, because I could go for blue again, but I have to choose one of these, and I'm going to get you know, two, three, four action points to do blue in, but... All I can really do is I've got two settlers and they only have to move two spaces. So maybe I want some new rooms. And the trouble with that is if I go for new rooms, then I'm giving Marty three more action points to get new rooms with. It's a bit of a waste, but I could go for airlock and fill up with settlers again. Maybe I'll send my worker in a suit over here and I'll at least get two, even though Marty's getting another three. I feel like maybe I'm kind of feeling now like maybe I should get involved with his uh, his pink ones. Yeah, it's not going to work out well, is it? <laughs> Each wary of helping the other one out, but that's what's so good about this action selection system. I think <laughs> you're constantly helping the other players out and weighing up how you help them the least. So what would I like? I could just get some more blue stuff. I just have some more space to move things around. Like, I could get another suit here. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to build off here and not worry about getting a load of blue in one go. It would be nice to get some pink just in case Marty does stuff. We could have another gate going off the middle here, and it's for a different symbol, so we could be going for two different planets. Yeah, I like, I like the look of that. I'm going to stick with that. 
So I just got two. Marty got three. What does he want? He could get some more. Now, he wanted a pink gate. He hasn't got any gates yet. He's going to get this one here. Put it like this, because in the future, he's going to be able to get new people in from this airlock and then send them straight to a gate. Three come from the airlock, three to a gate. That could work out really well. Then I think he's going to get another gate and he's going to put it right next to the start here. And then he could, he could keep having a big chain of these other colors. He could get another airlock. Yeah, I think it wouldn't be a bad thing to be working on another color as well. Because we, we are going to get, you can be in the running for majorities in this game. Well, we are all in the running for majorities. They are worth this many points. So the most blue modules with no points. This is predetermined at the start of the game. Most wildlife is one. Most energy is two. Most sets of three gets you four points and nothing gets you seven points. There are spaces we can go on later that lets us swap these tokens. So you can make the things you want the best, really. But Marty, he's, he's going for pink, but he's also getting some sets, whereas I um, yeah, haven't really got much, but I'm mainly dedicated to blue, aren't I? So that's Marty's new ones. He's just had uh, three new things. And that was my turn. So for Marty's, what could he do? Now, he could go for some green movement. It would be a bit of a waste, maybe. If he went for purple, he would get three. I would get one, but it wouldn't really help me out that much. Yeah, I think, I think that's a good move for Marty. He's going to put himself here and give himself three action points in energy rooms. So what would he like to do? I think he wants to move one like this and turn this room on. So this settler is returned to the supply and Marty gets a new suit for one of his workers. I think, hoping that I'm going to activate blue, he is going to put the suit on this worker that's in the water room. Uh, One-handed. There we go. And there was no more end to that. He's got three action points. He spent one. So he could just open this gate here. But I think he's also going to work on opening these other rooms. Two... Or no, he's gonna he's gonna go like this. Two, turn the gate on. Three, and now there is someone in there, and he's ready to start filling that room up and sending someone to a planet. It would be to Dirac. Okay, that's Marty's. I've got one action point, and there's only one place to go with it. Unfortunately, though, you know these two are perfectly set up to do some blue and send someone over here, fill this gate up. But I think. For the future, we will turn this gate on. This settler goes away. Okay, so it's my turn. And I think... Hmm. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to get someone new in the airlock. I'm going to take... Nobody's, nobody's that bothered about green. Well, I'm not bothered about green at all. I'm going to go here and choose airlock. Marty gets nothing from this. I get two action points. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to spend them. Got my special robot in there. Each action point lets you fill an airlock room with settlers. So you only fill the empty spaces. So I can fill up here. Unfortunately, I don't have another airlock room, so that other action point is just wasted. But, you know, I'm, I'm not doing an action that's going to benefit Marty, and these two are both benefiting him. He's, he's been quite good at locking me out of those. So what would he like to do now? So he got nothing from here, did he? I think maybe he moves himself off the new room. But he puts a lot of action points into pink here. He's only got two settlers to move in here. Oh, I think he is going to do that. I'm only going to get one action point from that, so it's not like it's going to benefit me massively. Yeah, Marty's going to do this. So he's got four action points. He's only going to use two of them, I think. No, use a bit more than that. One, two, unlock this airlock. So he can be getting new settlers in from here and here. So that was two. And he's got four, hasn't he? It wouldn't make sense to move him to the airlock. 
So he's just going to have to waste one, I think. Three. So ideally, you want someone in there so the gate is open so they're ready to go. It's going to waste someone, isn't it? Or maybe he moves him here to be on the way. Yeah, he's going to do that. It'll make sense. Uh, it'll make sense. I promise. <laughs> when the gate and everything's open. So that's it for Marty. I get one. So I might as well move someone into this gate. Might as well. Uh, for me, definitely don't want to do an airlock. I could do pink because it's not really going to benefit Marty that much. I want to get stuff moving though a lot. Yeah, this is a good time to do it. I'm going to go on to blue now. So I've got three action points in water. Oh my, guy's falling out of his suit. And so I'm getting three action points. Marty's getting two. We see Marty, his, his settlers are kind of locked up. So he is going to get use out of it, I think, if he wants to go off and get a worker. But we'll see what he does in a minute. What am I doing? So I've got three. I could get another suit. I'm going to go one, two... Three. Not get the suit just yet, but we're going to see how uh, a space gate works in just a second and see how one of the planets works. Marty gets two. So does he keep up with his plan and not do anything? No, he's going to go one, two here, which is going to get him a new worker for the action selection board. And it can go wherever he likes. So where would he like to put it? In case I choose new modules, he wants someone in there. He doesn't think I'm going to choose airlocks just yet. Marty's actually probably going to have to do airlocks. Okay, yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Okay, so that was... That was me, wasn't it? Choosing water again. Oh, and we get to do space gate. So, I have a full space gate module. So these settlers are warped down to the planet with the corresponding space gate symbol. So this is Collins. Your settlers on Collins can go anywhere you like you are competing for majority around these four volcanoes. Now, the planet is completed when the majority is decided, basically. And so a, a volcano is considered to have majority when either it's completely surrounded or one person has put enough settlers around it that nobody can do anything about it. So I probably want to go where I am next to a lot of different things. But if I go for this space here on the outside, I would get to do some swapping around of these tokens. I can swap around two adjacent tokens. Make blue worth more. I think, yeah, two can go there. Or shall I put, I'll put two like that, and then one over here, and then I will swap so that blue starts to be worth some more points. Nothing else happens because the planet isn't scored until it's completed, and it's completed when the volcanoes are all decided. So that's it for the turn. It's Marty's turn now, isn't it? So Marty really needs airlock. And he doesn't think I'm going to choose energy. So he's going to come over here himself. So he gets two action points and I get two action points of airlock. So that means Marty can completely fill his starting hub here with settlers. So he gets five in there. And he gets three in this pink one here. And this is right next to another gate. So you can start branching off and making your station massive, but build it in such a way that you have these really nice little uh, connections, these little loops that will really help you out. Okay. I get two action points, so I might as well fill up my starting hub here, even though I'm wasting a space a little bit. It's, it's a free action, isn't it? So yeah, Marty has benefited me not massively, but that saved me a turn, hasn't it? Okay then, so he comes off here, and what am I going to do? I probably want to do blue again, which is going to help Marty out. Yeah, I don't want to do energy. I could get some more modules. But yeah, I'd get a new module and Marty would get a new one. I need to work on... Okay, I'm going to do blue, which is going to help Marty out, but hopefully help me out more. So I get two, three, four action points. Let's come over here. I want to do one. So he goes away and I get a space suit for one of my workers here. And so it's going to have to be one that's in the blue, isn't it? I could do in the pink, but I want to leave him there. I have plans. I think I'm going to send one of these off to get new modules and then I'll still have workers in here for doing blue stuff. So then I have three more action points. One. 
two, three. I'm sending them off there again. Marty hasn't even got a gate to that planet yet, so I could be getting some serious points. Now, is there a gate out here? Yes, there's a pink gate out here. Maybe Marty wants to put his plans off a little bit and get some new modules. He's got, he's got two blue points, though, so he's going to go one, two, get a new robot in energy. That's his first robot, isn't it? So that's permanent plus one to his pink actions. Then the action's done. I think Marty is going to... He's going to come off airlocks, actually. Going to come on here to new modules. I'm not in here, so I'm not getting anything. He's getting three action points of stuff. He wants this gate now all of a sudden. Which, yeah, isn't, isn't great uh, space-wise, is it? He's, he's closing off his, uh, his base down here as well, if he puts it like this. Yeah, he has to come in off. I'm going to put that there. He's got two more. He could keep going for powers. So he could, thinking about maybe... I'm thinking about maybe green a little bit, because I'm not involved in green. Could do something there. See, the gate in blue is a dead end on there. And so is the airlock. What if... How many action points has he got left? He's taken a room, so he's got two more action points. I think he's going to go... He's just going to go for more powers, I think, down this line. He's going to go for... Another blue and a pink. So, there we go. He's just going to have this great big corridor to nowhere, but unlocks a load of things for him. I don't have any points in there, so I'm not getting anything. Okay, so what... Oh, I have a full space gate, don't I, from a turn. So, I might as well... Like, once a volcano's got four next to it, there's a majority, isn't there? So that one's got four, so there's no point Marty going in there. And this one just has one. So I could put myself next to other volcanoes as well. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to leave them like that and ignore that uh, swappy roundy space for now. Okay, my turn. I definitely don't want to do pink, because that would help Marty out. I don't have enough settlers, unfortunately, to... I'm not in a great position here, am I? No, I'm really not. So I don't want to go to new modules. Marty's got three in there. Maybe I want to just go here to the airlock and fill this room up, but it's got two people in it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking baby steps while Marty seems to have things sorted. Okay, that is my whole action. Marty gets nothing from that. Marty, though. At least he'll move out of the new modules, I think. What does he want? He wants a load of... Yeah, he does want a load of pink. He gets two, three, four, five action points here. He's going to go one, two, three, lost, four, five. So this one isn't quite full, but yeah, he wants to do this one, didn't he? He'll be okay. Will it? So, he has a full space gate. Oh wait, I, I need to go, don't I? I get one pink, so I'm going to have a space gate as well. Okay, then Marty is sending his over to Dirac here. Now, all of these spaces on the right-hand side here are normal. You just send your first five settlers over here. When you send a settler over here, it's your sixth one. So once you have five out, you can put your sixth in one of these, then you need another five over here, your twelfth over here. The points are, once the planet is fulfilled, the planet is fulfilled basically when it's completely full, because the last one placed can go in this space. You get a point for every settler in these normal spaces, three points for every settler in your five settler space, and two points for the central hub, and you get to do a little swapsies by going in the middle there. So Marty's got the start on there. I am going for... Bose, actually. Bose is like a little mountain. So you have to start at the bottom and you can only go onto the top one once there are two underneath it. So I get to go on a swapsy space. So yeah, I'm going to make pink worse and blue worth even more. I'm happy with that. The other scoring thing it's mentioning here, by the way, is you lose an influence, a point, 
for every open corridor you have at the end of the game. So you also want a nice, neat, enclosed base as well. So that was Marty's turn done with. What do I want to do? That's not going to help him out too much. I think maybe I want to get some new modules. I'll get two and Marty will get one. Which isn't ideal, but it's, it's something, isn't it? We have gates, gates. Now, I don't have anything for this, this gate, so I think that would be a nice move. And it's pink as well. Maybe I could get a bit more involved in pink to piggyback off Marty's stuff. And in doing that, maybe I want another spacesuit. I could link these up like that. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, that's the way we're going. No more airlocks, though. Uh, I could probably do with some kind of airlock. But the airlock here is a dead end. It doesn't really help with the way I've placed things. We're going to go like this and just be short on airlocks for now. What if I get an airlock of a different color, though? This green one isn't a dead end. Because this could link to maybe two different gates. It could link here. Oh, that's an idea. Yeah, I like that. Even though you have to move a green in there to open it, though, don't you? Oh, uh, no, we're not having a gate. Sticking with this plan. Okay. Marty gets one as well. And I think he wouldn't mind a robot. Yeah, he's just going to keep going in this massive line here. <laughs> he wouldn't mind a robot in new modules. So what does he want to do now? He wants to do some moving. Maybe he wants to go for pink again. Or as a little one off, what if he goes for green? I get nothing from it. He gets one green point. And then he can just pop over here. He's got another worker for the action board. But he hasn't got enough settlers to do this gate and compete in volcanoes. Which might not be a good thing. So where's he going to go? Airlocks would be decent, although I'm probably not going there anytime soon. My hub's pretty full. He could get more involved in blue. Yeah, to put me off doing it. That's what he's going to do. Okay. Uh, I get, oh no, that was green, Marty did. So I get nothing from that. What am I going to do then? Marty's not in here now, so I could get some more modules. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. Three points of modules. So now we could get some kind of airlock, so I'll get rid of this one. See, so the, 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 the kind of balancing thing is, this has got no other connections, it's a dead end, but it gets you four new settlers at once. This one's got a load of connections, but only gets you two settlers. I think this one would be good to have. So this one goes at the bottom. So that's two of my three action points. And another worker wouldn't be a bad thing for me, would it? Okay, that's what I'm doing. Marty gets nothing at all from that. His turn. What does he want to do? He wants movements and stuff. He wants new people, really. Yeah, he wants to go to an airlock, doesn't he? He's going to grab his guy in a spacesuit here, and he's going to go to the airlock, get some new settlers, so he gets three here and four more here. I'm in there as well, so oh, it gets me a settler. That's all right, isn't it? This should come in off. Cheating there. Are we still on static cam? Have I gone off? We need to zoom out a little bit. Bear with me. There we go. So, what is going on? Marty went on the airlock. He benefited me a little bit. It's my turn. So I probably want to go on blue. Blue's benefiting Marty three. <laughs> I've got to do something. I can't just keep hanging around here. So let's... Yeah, let's go on blue. So I'm going to get four... Or is purple a good thing for me to go on? So I'd get three on purple. Marty would also get three. Now, blue is going to get me powers. So I'm going to go on blue. I've got four action points. I'm going to do one, 
to unlock that, put somebody in a suit, and it's going to be the one on purple, so I'll get a bit of an extra benefit when Marty chooses purple. Three. Four. So I'm ready for the next power that I unlocked. Or do I just want to go... No, I'm going to go three, four. So if Airlock gets chosen again, I'll get some more free settlers. Marty gets three here. So I think he's just going to go one, two, three. Get himself another worker. He must be getting to the point where he's got most of his guys out now. Yeah, he's only got one more. Where's he going to put him? I think, why not? I have a great big pink turn after this. Yeah. Okay. So, it comes off there. Marty's turn. Is he going to go for purple now? Surely. Yeah, he's going to send his two over here to purple. And he's got two, three, four, five, six action points. And I've got two. So with six, can he go one, two, unlock this, three, four, five, six. And it's not the one he wants to compete on volcanoes, but that's two space gates he's just filled up. I get two. So, you know, I do want to unlock this one, but I might as well one, two. Might as well fill that one up. Okay, then, so Space Gates, Marty's going for Dirac here, so four, five, and then his sixth one goes in the special space. Then over here, he's going to Bose, isn't he? So now you get points over here for majority on each of the rows on here. It's three points for having the most. You also get a point per settler as well. I think Marty's going to keep his distance and he's going to go off to this side. So he's going to get to do some swaps. I think, what if he just makes... He could make sets worth more. He's the only person with any set right now. But no, he'll make blue worth less and uh, pink worth more. Although he's, going, he's gunning for the majority in blue, really. He's not that far off. Okay, so that was... Pink movement, wasn't it? Oh, I've got some as well. So I'm going to the same one. I'm going to here as well. So that means I have to, I can go on here, but I have to go down here now. But it's giving me, oh, maybe. Yeah, I think Marty wouldn't have done that. He would have gotten the majority on this row. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because now I can't get the majority here. He'd, he'd have seen that I've only got two to put out. So that would be the sly way to do it. So that was Marty's turn. What do I want to do? Now, blue doesn't really help Marty right now. So it's probably a good time to swoop in and do that. Yeah. I've got no settlers, though. While Marty's not in the airlock, it's probably a good time to do that. So I... Oh, I do have this worker. Yeah, I'm going to go over here, do airlock, and fill, still just this one, fill this one up. Marty. Yeah, he's run out of people, hasn't he? Well, not entirely, but for the most part, he's run out. And going on purple would help me out a lot more than him right now. Maybe he just comes over... He doesn't really just want one airlock, though. Yeah, he'll, he'll go for two airlocks, and he gives me two airlocks as well, but I can't use them. So, so there. <laughs> so he fills up there. My turn. I want a load of blue. Oh, Marty's just moved out of blue, so this is probably a really good time to go for a load of blue. Yeah, so I get five, and Marty's only going to get one. So let's just do Marty's one now. It's going to be over down here. Start working his way up. Uh, and I get five. So I think definitely I want to do one, two, three, four. Get myself a new worker. 
And where's it going to go? It's going purple, so I can get even more benefit. And then, it just have to be five, I guess. And stand him up right. So Marty's already had his, so we can go to the space gate, and this is the volcano one, isn't it? So I can get majority of another volcano. So let's do this one. Marty's not in here at all. I can also get majority of this volcano. I've got four around all of these. So there's only, like, two more. Two more guys going out. I do put three out, unfortunately. And there, you don't get a point for every one on here. It's just the majorities. But, yeah, next time I go there, I'm going to finish that planet off and get all of the points from it. That's going to be 28 influence. Hmm. Okay, so... No, this hasn't been this for ages. Marty did that. What's he going to do now? I think he's still going to go for pink. So that is four, six, eight pink. I don't think he can use that many. <laughs> he needs some more modules, probably. Probably piled them up too close to each other. So one, two, three. He's not going to bother with this until it moves to another planet, because the volcanoes are mine. He knows that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then he's ready to go to airlock again. Yeah. Uh, I get three. So I can go... Now, do I want to send them there? And compete with Marty on the... Ma on the... Yeah, I do. Because this looks like it's filling up. Although it's getting, it's getting close to filling up, at least. So Marty first. He is sending three here. So he might as well... Now, all he's doing is stopping me from getting majority here. This It's how he has to place them, though, isn't it? He could, he could place them... Oh, dear. Uh, what happened there? Now, he had majority down here and just one on there. So I could place... So he could place them like this and guarantee that he gets the majority of the next one up. Or does he just cancel out? Either way... I'm getting a majority of one and he's getting... Because I'm putting two out. So here, he's just cancelling my majority and giving me a majority here. So this way around, he's giving himself the majority above and letting me have the one below, which is better for him points-wise. Then he's going up to Dirac. So one, two, three, four, five. So he's starting a new group of five up there. And then I am going on to the mountain planet as well. And I don't have to go there. Marty's already got his majority. I could work on going further up for the majority. Okay, so that was all energy, the pink module. Marty's left himself out of airlock again. Yeah, even though I've still only got the one unlocked. Still. Uh, it's... I think it's worth me... Yeah, let's just go on there. So, yeah, Marty's wasting his time. One, two... Because mine's filled up there, and he gets nothing out of that, even though I'm wasting my robot, really. Although my robot's been good for when Marty takes this, I can still do it a little bit. Marty is going to have to do it, though, and he, he wants to do both at once, so he's going to do one, two, three... One, two, three, four... Five. And I get I can't do anything because my airlocks are all full. I think this would be a good time for me to do blue then. Yeah, with this, I get five. Marty only gets one. Marty's one. He'll just move him just along here a little bit. And then I get five. So I might as well go one, two, three. Four. Yeah, four, five. And then we, if we get new modules, we've got settlers close to opening them up. And so I send someone off to the volcano planet, and we're finally going to close a planet. So one, two, three. This planet is now closed. All of the volcanoes have been surrounded. And so seven points for having the majority around each volcano. Which is going to give me 28 influence. So we move around here. Every time you get 10, you have to take a settler and put them on here. It's just from your supply. You don't lose one you know, from your base or anything like that. So I'm getting 10, 20, and it tracks you know, your 10s. So I've got 20, uh, 8. 
is where I land. And you see, the next one, when I get two more influence, I'm going to have to lose a worker, and I haven't done a great job at getting more workers. Compared to Marty, he's got all of his out. So, yeah, it's going to tighten things up for me. Uh, this planet is now done with and all colonized, so the settlers all go back into our supplies, well, my supply, and this one will go on to a new planet. So, Fermi over here, you place the first settler of your gate onto one of the outer planets, and everyone else goes in the middle. Planets close when there are seven settlers on the outer planets, and you get five points for having the most on the central planet, and then you get more influence for the more different exoplanets that you're on. So if you're on each of the four, you get 18 influence for that. Okay, for Marty, he is gonna go on purple. I think we're gonna see another couple of things here. You see another couple of planets closed. I think then we'll close out this. So Marty gets two, four, six, eight again. So he can go on. He kind of wants to go on the new one, but he could close out. He could close out this one. So he's definitely gonna go one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So he nearly got one on there. And I get three. So yeah, I probably want to go one, two, three. And then I can start working on. Oh, I'll start working on the new one after that's closed. So yeah, Marty will go on here and fill up all of these spots. Yeah, that's bad for me. And he gets to do a swap. I think he will he'll make sets worth even more. And then he could start working on getting some more green modules now, now that the majority of sets is worth seven influence at the end. This planet is full, and we score it. So Marty's got three, six, nine on there. I've got two, four, six. So I'm going to go over to the four, and I need to lose a worker from somewhere. It's going to have to be blue, I think. And then majorities. So Marty has majority there, gets three, one, two, three. Has to put a settler up there. Uh, I've got majority there, one, two, three. He's got majority there, one, two, three. We cancel each other out there, and he's got majority on top, one, two, three. So yeah, that planet, what did it get me? Three, six, nine for Marty, six for me. And then it got Marty nine more. So Marty got 18 and I got nine from there, I think. So yeah, not quite a complete clean sweep like the other planet was. So this now goes on to Russell. Uh, we get our settlers back. Russell scores. You have to put all of your settlers from a certain gate into one of the sections. And the planet is considered complete when each section has at least seven people on it. And you get, for having the majority in each section, seven points. Oh, and you also get three points for each island your settlers are on. Uh, this one in particular we found in two players. You know, as soon as one person goes on there, the other person can kind of be like, well, I'll, I'll just concentrate on other things or, you know, just send people to Hawking, which is what happens later on. And, you know, it can be a real, a real struggle, a real pain for one person to be filling this up by themselves, but not that many points. So, yeah, that's something we noticed with Russell. Because what happens now is, when these planets close up, the, there are no more planets for the gates to go onto. So they go onto Hawking. And a settler on Hawking, you don't put them anywhere, you just get an influence for every one. And so, as you score more points, you start to get more and more restricted because you can get loads of airlocks out and start putting loads of settlers out at once, but you're limited by how many you've got. And that amount is reduced the more influence you have. And the workers you have out are, are reduced. So you really want as many suits out as you can possibly get. But I think we are going to leave it there. Now, I know that normally I love to go to the very end of playthroughs. But yeah, there just isn't time to do every single one. So I think I've shown you, yeah, I've gone on a bit longer than I intended to for Space Gate Odyssey. But what would happen though? Yeah, we would do all of that. You would put more things out there. We would score our majorities for each of the colors and the sets based on where these ended up. You would lose points for loose connections in your space base and whoever had the most influence would win. But I hope this has given you a good idea of what Space Gate Odyssey is like. If you would like to know what I think, there'll be a link coming up sooner. It's in the description if you are impatient. Uh, 
the playthroughs like this, well, everything that I do is only possible because of my Patreon campaign and the patrons that support me. If you are interested in helping these playthroughs keep coming and you get a say in some of the stuff that gets filmed and you get stuff early, you get special benefits, you can go to patreon.com slash slickerdrips, get your name in the credits and stuff. Anyway, it's all on that page. Thank you very much for watching though. I hope you enjoyed this. There are over 300 playthroughs on here. If you'd like to go and find another one, YouTube will recommend you one in a minute when we go into space. But uh, thank you very much for watching this one and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone. <laughs>